and takeaways and any other cool words starting with T so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Christopher Harold. Man, that song be bumping, y'all. I, I, I just can't stop jamming that song. Kingdom Marketing Secrets. But hey, welcome, guys, to episode 36 of the Kingdom Marketing Secrets podcast. I got a really cool, awesome, powerful, content rich, valuable, and any other adjective we can des- describe episode for you today and so hey if this is your first time checking me out welcome to the kingdom marketing secrets podcast i'm your host christopher the online marketing superman herald here coming to you from my home office here in the dallas footwork metroplex and today i'm going to talk about leveraging sales funnels and so this could be a really good episode if you're a business owner uh, entrepreneur and you've been uh, using the website or don't have a website i'm kind of explaining to you the powerful benefits of a funnel and explaining you the differences between the funnels and websites i'm actually going to attempt to do this i'm going to give you some funnels i'm going to explain them here now i'm doing a podcast right so i'm gonna do my best and i'm gonna need you also to do your best to imagine create images with the things i'm going to describe here so do your best to do that. And, and I thought and I said, you know, what What can I do that can really, really, really make this drive home from you? Well, I'm going to do this for everyone who's hearing the sound of my voice right now. I'm going to give you a free sales funnel. And I'm going to do a training video that shows you this in visual detail with me actually showing you on the whiteboard, writing this out, with me actually showing you everything so you can actually see it as well as hear it. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it to you. All you gotta do is go to workwithchrisherald.com forward slash get my funnel. You heard that right. I'm gonna give you a funnel. Now, I have clients who hire me to create funnels for them and 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 the minimum funnel starts off at two thousand dollars that's the minimum and so we go two grand and up i'm gonna give you and i, I thought about limiting to the first 100 people but uh, i'm gonna give you when you go to work with chris harold.com forward slash get my funnel also you will see this link in the show notes Click that link and get access. I'm going to give you a funnel for free. Plus, I'm going to have additional training videos in there that's going to show you exactly what I'm explaining visually, these funnels, and how you can begin to use them right now in your business. I thought that would be an awesome, cool, free, valuable gift for you right now. And all I ask you to do is subscribe to this podcast, leave a review, and share it with others, my friend. That's all I ask you to do. Share the love, share the love, share the love. All right. So let's talk about then funnels. Let's go ahead and talk about funnels. And really quick, before I dive into funnels, because maybe you may not know what sales funnels are. So I'm not, I shouldn't assume that everyone knows what a sales funnel is. So let me kind of explain this to you, a funnel compared to a website. So you know what a website is. 20 years ago, probably actually about 22 years ago, 
I got started in web design. I was using Microsoft Front Page, Dreamweaver, uh, all these tools, learning HTML and JavaScript, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So if you guys aren't been around, you know what I'm talking about. And this was at the beginning of websites. And the website was the coup de gras, just the holy grail. If you want to have a business, you need a website, you know, and that was like a trend for about 10, 15 plus years, you know, where you needed a website that if you were in business and you didn't have a website, basically you were not in business. Right. And so a website will have all this stuff on there. Right. You will have, uh, you know, you have all your information about you and about us section, a contact me section. Oh, yeah. You probably have your prices of your product and your service on your website. People still to this day do that still to this day. And I'm talking about in a second how that doesn't make any sense to do so but you have all this information on the website right everything and a website primary purpose was to do one thing to sell 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 and that's why literally you can send a thousand people to your website and a thousand people will leave and you won't get any sales right because you got all these links going everywhere all these pictures and articles and we got this information overload so picture a website like a super duper highway where you have, like I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, you know, the fourth largest market in the USA, right behind New York, LA and Chicago. So this is, this is the fourth largest market. So a lot of people live here and there are a lot of freeways here and a lot of those super interchangeable freeways, right? Where you have ramps going this. Now you guys who are listening, basically think of those big old super highways, interchanges where you have, Roads going up, down, left, right, twisting all around, right? That's like a website. You have all this stuff going on. You know, you got stuff going over, over here to the left, stuff going to the right, stuff going up, down, twisting, you know. And so you have all this stuff going on. And the average person, when they come to your website with all this information and all these links, will just leave. Yet, people will spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands hiring people to build them a website. Still to this day, someone sent me their website the other day and they got prices on there. They got all this. They just crazy. So think of that. It worked 20 years ago. That, that's because all we had. That's all we knew. And so we gave information overload in hopes of getting a client, a customer. But. Over the past five, six, seven years, you know, uh, a new trend. And actually, it's nine, five, six, seven. Actually, probably 10 plus years. You know, uh, there was the, the concept of funnels or they used to be called uh, squeeze pages, right? And came into play. And, and, and the difference now, a funnel is a website. We hear the word funnel, you're probably thinking of a funnel. So that's okay. Picture a funnel and picture a top big spout at the top. And as it goes down, it gets skinnier and skinnier. And at the top is where you put your traffic, which is people that will come to see to your website. Because a funnel is a type of a website, but it has a singular purpose in mind, which makes it a hundred times better than a traditional website. And so you have people coming in at the top and they, they begin to move from traffic to targeted traffic to a, a lead, a potential client, and then a client, right? And at the bottom is the dollar, right? The sales that you make. So a funnel will do that. It will, it will take a group of people at the top and, and funnel them all down until they do business with you. Now, so that's the concept of a funnel. And so a funnel is a website. And like I said, it's designed for do one thing. And it doesn't give you five or six different things like a website to do. It has a singular focus. So picture a funnel as a single lane highway where you can't turn to the left or to the right. It's just a one lane highway. Right. And you got to go straight and you got to keep going to a specific destination. And so that's what a funnel design do. And it works 100 times better because it makes that person make an easy decision. You know, they say a confused mind says no. Well, you can't be confused if you come to my website and I say, hey, click here to download this free cheat sheet that's going to help you grow your business in the next 30 days. 
There's no confusion there. There's no contact me, no about me, no uh, leave a link here, no price prices here. No, it has a singular purpose. And that's why it's a hundred times way more effective than a funnel. But unfortunately, people still today use websites because they just don't understand the concept of funnels. And again, like I said, I'm going to give you guys a free funnel. Right. I'm going to give you a free funnel and a free visual training of what I'm saying. So you can see this. All you got to do is go to workwithchrisharrell.com forward slash get my funnel. Workwithchrisharrell.com forward slash get my funnel. All right. So let's get back to this. So. So that's what a funnel is designed to do. Now, there are different types of funnels for different types of purposes. I mean, literally, I'm going to show you guys my back office. I, 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 I to date, have well over 200 plus funnels. And so uh, so I, I can't go into all 200 funnels right now on this episode, but I will share a couple with you that you can begin to use right now and, and show, show you the purpose of it. Plus, I'm giving you a free funnel as well. Now, one funnel that I'm going to describe to you is, I guess you, you can, we can call this one of the most simplistic funnels. And it's simply called a lead magnet funnel. And, and it's designed to do what? Give people some of value to get a lead. And now, it could be a free report, a free chit checklist, cheat sheet, a guide, a book, whatever the case, a training, whatever the case may be. But... The simplistic approach to a lead magnet funnel is that we would have targeted traffic coming in either from ads or from some other source. And I said targeted traffic. I talk about this a whole lot inside of our money and marketing masterclass. And so uh, you definitely want to check out our next one we're going to do as well. But we have targeted traffic coming in. Right. And they see our first page of our funnel, which is called our lead capture page. Now, on this lead capture page, it has copy. Copy is another name for words, words that sell. It has words on it, it has a headline. So it may say, hey, free download, you know, and, 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 and then it may have a picture of the cheat sheet or report be given away. Or we may have a video of ourselves saying, hey, welcome to my site. You're here to download into this. And you know, it's kind of like a brief introduction. But also what's on that page is something that is going to capture their information. It's called a lead capture page. And it has, it has a couple of boxes, a name and email box, and a call to action button, a submit button, right? And then you can have a simple page, just basic, hey, download the free cheat sheet here type stuff. And name and email and put your name and email here or you can add a whole lot more copy to that but the basic concept is a lead capture page there's right and then a couple of things happen once someone's enters their information they're redirected to the next page in that funnel which could be a uh, overview page a thank you page or a download page where they actually can download the cheat sheet right there um, I personally no longer put a download page as a next page because you will discover this. There are a lot of people out there that put fake information in your sites and they just want to take your information, your cheat sheet or guide report without giving you their email, which is unethical, right? And so I no longer put my content that they're coming to seek right there. That information is actually emailed to them. Because once you enter your name and email, you put on my autoresponder email list, right? And then inside of that email, it'll be a link in there that either that's going to send you the link to download that report or cheat sheet, or, or it's going to send you back to another page inside of my funnel. They may have an overview of one of my main products, or I may introduce you to a additional training or webinar. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. I'm trying to keep this simple as possible. But in that email, it will have a link that sends you to the download page or a call to action page or something else, right? And then you can get access to that. So so that that's a ninja trick right there that, uh, that do not put your content right there after someone opts in. Make them open up their email and click through to go get it. So that way you get a, get a legit email address. So... And then, of course, you have your email that will follow up with them throughout uh, with that as well. 
So again, this when you get the free funnel and you see the training there, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can see it. 